Hello everyone and welcome back to The Great War, a mod for Napoleon Total War and we are playing against Romania. My name is Van Pope. We're not doing very good at the moment. Our army is coming back from fighting a bunch of rebels. They can't enter the city which will make our population slightly more sad, I should say. Um, if we look at the policies, they're pretty upset. If I accept them from, exempt them from tax... Um, no, that doesn't do anything. Uh, it doesn't really improve by much. It makes the um, ruling class indifferent. But... I would also be losing all this money. Which, it doesn't really affect me since I'm only making a little bit with the uh, trade ports that I have being blockaded by the Ottomans. Also, I looked at why I possibly can't recruit any units and uh, for the Navy and it's either because of the researches which I should have well, let's see if this um, this is a, it gives me upkeep cost and recruitment cost uh, bonuses and then next it will be um, destroyers so I guess it's researching destroyers super dreadnoughts uh, submarines I uh, that's aerial. Let's see. Um, it's more naval unit stuff. But if for some reason this doesn't give me uh, a naval unit once it researches, then I don't see another way for me to get naval units. It could be that the nation that I'm playing just doesn't have any access to naval units in game, which would be kind of silly and inappropriate. Um, <laughs> mainly because anyone could make a boat and, you know, get with the times. Um, I'm sure that they had, I don't know specifically if they had navy at this time, but I'm pretty sure they did. The Danube River here is actually uh, something you can navigate with any sort of vessel, with any sort of boat, uh, and go all the way into the heart of Europe if you wish. Um, that's never implemented in in the game. The, the navy doesn't usually use rivers as um, a way of, of moving about. They just use the sea. And although we don't have... Well, in the future we... I should say a few years, maybe even at this point, there was a city on the shore here. They just... It's not there right now. So anyway, I took over um, Istanbul and I have a port. But if I was able to have a recruitment button, um, then that would allow me to get boats of my own and maybe shoot these guys from blockading me and make some money. Uh, if you look at the building browser um, and you'll click, at, you click on this, it's just one harbor uh, chain down down the line. I believe if you click on uh, something else uh, yeah, like this is a good example. In this spot you can build other things. You can build a town council, council you can build a homeless shelter, public housing, you can build farmers, markets, and then you can build uh, industrial stuff. Uh, so you have choices uh, while at the spot where the boat would be built. I keep clicking right click instead of first click. There's no other choices. So there really isn't another thing that you could do that says, hey, it has this ship. So maybe I just don't have any ships, which in that case, I don't think I can play this campaign to its um, full potential because there's a lot of naval stuff going on. And I, I want to be able to come out and, you know, put some trade ships at the trade post and get coffee from there, for example, or whatever else is you know, furs and more furs all around the Mediterranean would be nice, right? You know, even up here, like, why not come up here and trade cotton with somebody from the West? So that's that story. Let's see what happens in the next few turns. Uh, I don't think we can do much. Uh, ministers are pretty much set. Uh, trade is broken because of the port. We're making a little bit of money, which isn't going to help us a lot, especially since there is there are two armies within range of Bucharest, 
I don't have uh, an actual army defending here, I just have the town militia. And I'm sure those guys will attack me and it'll be good times. Uh, that's pretty much where I'm standing. We'll see what goes on here. There he goes. There they go. There's foreign army hitting my town. Which means I won't get any of that uh, money from the taxes and so on. When a, when a city is under siege, you don't get any of the income from it. So it will make me bankrupt again. Sounds like good times. Where did those Ottomans come from? I think the Ottomans just spawned on the left of the screen there. Or they just kind of moved in really quick. I didn't catch them with my eye until they were there. Looks like fun. Looks like there's two armies of Austro-Hungarians and an army of the Ottomans trying to come up and besiege me. And uh, yes, that makes me bankrupt. Uh, so we researched destroyers. Destroyers are fast and removal of warships. So technically this should get me destroyers. Um... No, never mind. We research super dreadnoughts and next would be destroyers. So the nation has further developed their military technology with the intention of gaining advantage over their enemies in battle. Super dreadnoughts constitute a class of battleship which excuse me, with higher displacement and heavier weaponry than dreadnoughts. So in all technicality we have uh, researched something and next comes destroyers. Um, again, it doesn't say that it lets me recruit, it just says upkeep and so on, and then when clicking here, um, there's no recruitment button at all. And that's not because of the being blockaded, I don't believe so. I, don't, I, th I think you can still train, and, and the regular Napoleon, I think you can still train a unit, uh, navy unit, while you're sitting in you know while you have I have a I have units in port I have these guys in port I can get them out put them back in it doesn't kick these guys away uh, but that recruitment button should be there and you're just not able to recruit first of all workers are on strike in Romelia then we have uh, demands from the peoples and we advanced in technology uh, we're not making any money Everybody's pissed at me, this whole center, the central powers, they're just pissed. Um, people are indifferent or hostile. Russia's friendly, but their friendliness is kind of like, yeah, we'll just leave you alone. Versus their very friendliness should be like, hey, here's some aid, here's some help. Go buy yourself a cookie. Not that I'm asking for, for cookies at all, but um, it's just not helping. Uh, you guys should be getting better at this foreign occupancy resistance, which might let me... If I do do that, I'm not making money anyway. I'm, make, I'm not making money anyway, so let's get rid of the um, resistance faster. I think that'll help me out. What else can I do? I think that's about all I can do. Let's look at ministers. Do we get anybody? Some inexperienced dude. Some uh, tactician that's competent. About the same as this guy. Only older. And we have a trading expert. I really don't care to mess with those guys right now. I'm just going to go through a couple of turns and see what happens. Yes, we, we have bankruptcy imminent. We know that. I can't really fight at Bucharest. I can't really attack him. Um, I actually I could. I could just do that for fun. Just take my uh, mil military, militia, populace, armed populace, whatever they are, and uh, fight back the first wave of Austrians there. Um, yes, they will do that because I mean, obviously, I'm not using that building anyway it's all on fire I'm not sure what you'll do with it sitting there Mr. Ottoman in fact sit there for like 10 turns so I can uh, gain public order in Romelia I don't really know why there would be a another strike another worker strike at the same place when I 
I am not taxing you guys at this moment. Can you like not appreciate that? What is minus six right now? Uh, it it should get better, pretty darn soon. Okay. Um. So since there's nothing else I could do, some people gained experience. Let's look at them, see who they are. Was that you? Harsh reputation and just management for justice, really. Competent there, experienced. Mm hmm. So you could technically be a four star management skill somewhere else. Uh, you have five, you have four. You have just experience. So you can stay. Um, yeah, let's get rid of this. Well, maybe the harsh reputation. Dude, but that's a five because he is got the justice administration there. So we'll leave him. We'll get rid of the treasury. I have a four on the treasury, and that's apparently st still still better. Okay, so let's get the uh, what's Bon Vivant one to management altogether. Okay, so let's let's see. He's now gained happiness for nobility, but not lower classes. Uh, tactician. We get cycle to this guy. This guy. And I think we'll go through this guy first, and then see if he. Okay, he gained something. So he's now competent. And want to management and. It's got a status quo. Ugh. We'll just leave him there at the Navy. <laughs> okay. Let's um let's do something with these guys. Let's um Arm veterans. Their accuracy is kinda crap. Maybe I can box in and do something. Oh jeez, really. They really think highly of themselves just because they have a general and a few Hussars and Dragoons and Light Howitzers. Machine guns, that would be dangerous. That's really the main dangerous unit there. Um, although they do have a lot more accuracy and so on. But just for fun, let's um, let's fight this one. And see how it goes. I'm I'm kinda kinda bummed that I didn't know. I mean, I knew some things were broken with the campaign, but I didn't know that I'm not going to be able to get Navy units. Um, and that's, that's really the main thing that's kind of stopping me from from getting further up than where I'm at right now. Uh, it's, really, it's really sad. Um, I don't know if I should, but... <coughs> Kind of feel like crying, in a way, because <laughs> although I'm not gonna cry, I'm just saying that I wanna, I wanna be able to um, represent my home nation, and who doesn't, right? Just kind of do something cool, and uh, let's see, we have fire at will. Wonder why these guys have the fire at will and those guys don't. Uh, do we want to keep skirmish mode on? Safe distance. I don't really believe we have a lot of range. Those guys have a lot more range. Armed veterans, armed citizens. Okay. Never mind. And they're saying some stuff that I'm not. Um, understanding so let's just start battle and 
try to do something that will likely result in us losing. Uh, but um, yeah. That's just how it's gonna go. We're gonna speed up a little bit. There's no need on being over here doing that. Watching the slow mo. Slow mo train. Um, looks like somebody's taking pop shots at me already. Let's be just over there out of the forest. Uh, we're gonna move forward with these guys because we can. And there's just a lot of people here. guys run forward somebody's running I would assume that's bad Okay, let's get back here. Yeah, those guys run. These guys are all gonna break. It's be gruesome. Those guys are broken. Our men are running, sir. No! Alright. Skirmish mode. Way too many of them. I threw my armed citizens in and they got slaughtered. Uh, are you gonna run or are we gonna like fight? Hmm. Yeah, that's about it. Close defeat, they say. I think what happened is I uh, didn't die all the way, but um, I did sort of try to fight back and lost about half my men. So yeah, uh, let's let's end the turn again. I know we're bankrupt. There's really not much else I can do. I can wait in Istanbul, uh, defend there. I do have a good standing army there. But because I cannot trade with anyone, I'm not making any money. It's possible to do this without a navy, but it'll just, it'll just be awful. So let's see how much we can do. We can definitely try, right? Come on, German Empire. It's a rebellion, apparently. I'm not sure why, because I pretty much... Um, apparently they just don't like... Just don't like their status. You're not paying tax? Sure, there's some... Uh, different culture trying to control you. Recruitment to a ten, two, four, six, a ten. That unit's not gonna fit in here, is it? It's like it's not. So let's get you guys 
And um, yeah, let's just go. Who cares? Let's have another cool fight. The first, the other one wasn't cool because I had to, um, you know, just lose. I had, I had to pretend I'm gonna do something. See if, to see if I do it. <laughs> to see if I can ma manage to, um, you know, inflict some damage on the Austrians. And I probably, you know, killed like five other guys. That's it. Alright, uh, this is going to be different now because I am going to spread out my dudes and try to give them the old one two punch, punch again like I've done so in the past. On limber. Uh, let's have our line infantry up here. And then perhaps you guys over here. Right. I think that's it. I think we can uh, start battle and we can move forward and that's just stupid. Why does it do that? Uh, let's not have that grouped. And we'll move you guys. We'll move you guys. And you guys. Let's everybody double time it. We're gonna look at our. We're gonna look at our howitzers here. Fire some weapons, some some things. <laughs> They're firing some shells. Let's hear some boom boom. That was cool. Again. Right. Okay. Do a bit of a circling here. Everybody running. You guys are not running. Run. Okay, so the firefight is happening. I'm just not paying attention. Uh, let's focus on this guy. guys involved. Let's 
Game over. I'm too bad I can't do that, you know, against the Austrians. <laughs> it's just, I just don't have the forces up there. I don't want to leave uh, the... I don't want to leave Istanbul, but at the same time... I, there's nothing else I can do about it, so... I don't even think I used my other army. That was that was supposed to come in. Oh, that's because this was a full army, so the other ones only come in as a backup if uh, some of these die off. So you can't have more than 20 units on the field. And I won't be able to get back into the city. Uh, it's going to keep doing that. It's going to keep zooming out crazy. Oh, there's another dude. I don't know. That was quite quite the rebellion. You guys are going to keep tossing all your population at me. Which is nice. Eventually, uh, there won't be any more Ottomans around, right? Is that is that the case? Apparently, they're all, you know, very elite Imperial Guards. Also. So, let's end... Uh, you know what? That, mm, let's not end the turn. I, I'm kind of out of time. And this is going to go badly here. We're probably going to lose this town. Uh, we don't have much of a force there. We can't reach anywhere with this army because the movement points are kind of tiny. And that's about all we're going to do today. Uh, when we come back, we'll see how much more we can survive. I can definitely defend with these guys against whatever comes around. And I am going to get another uh, field gun. Um... I was gonna I was gonna say how it's her, but I decided to go with the field gun, which will help. Uh, likely, we'll leave one of these guys behind. Uh, maybe I don't know if I sh I don't know if I should leave a maybe like a low. Uh, yeah, like a low experience dude. I'll leave him behind, and. Um, Oh, I can, I can, like, rest these guys up. That's cool. How much more do I need to rest? I can rest you guys. That's nice. These guys don't need to rest. Don't need to rest. Okay. So, that's where we stand for now. Uh, still stuck. Still bankrupt. With little hope. But we'll keep on trying. That's, uh... I could just give up. But I don't want to do that. I want to keep on trying. So, if you guys enjoyed this, uh, please give it a like. Uh share this out with your friends although it's not really going you know the way we want to uh, it, it, I think it's still entertaining maybe if this doesn't work out I can look at a different mod in which I can play as Romania and um, it, it will not be set in the World War One era but I think there's a basic Napoleon um, Total War mod that allows you to play as Romania in... I don't know if it's Darth Mod or just unlocks the faction with... Um, I think it's called Total Factions. So I might try Total Factions. Just to kind of get something going for us. Why not? Why not? History is nice. I'm, I'm trying to remake history and, and it doesn't let me. So, <laughs> uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Please do comment down below and let me know what you think. Also, if you like the content on my channel, do subscribe. There's plenty more to come, and uh, I'll be doing a lot of different games, not just, you know, this, and not just City Skylines, and be doing a lot of other stuff. So, hopefully you guys will stick around and entertain yourself on your free time with my videos. That'll be nice. Okay, until next time, do take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.